Hello, my name is Scott Burrell. I'm a type 1 diabetic and have been for over 22 years now. Um, I love being active and taking part in sport and uh, this is really the purpose of this video. I'm a member of the diabetes football community and uh, One Bloody Drop, the uh, running uh, type 1 group. And today I'm competing, or tonight I'm competing in two uh, running races, uh, a 5k race and a 10k race at Snetterton uh, Race Circuit in Norfolk. And I'm going to document the day in terms of what I'm doing with my uh, blood glucose, insulin, what I'm eating, the thought processes behind what, what I'm injecting, what I'm eating, um, really to give you a bit of an insight and a bit of exposure to um, what a type 1 diabetic has to do every single day of their life to stay alive. Um, so I'm going to run through the day um, with a few snapshots of what I'm doing um, in preparation for the races tonight. The races get going at uh, 10 to 6. Um, and then there's another one shortly after, so 15 kilometres of hard running. And um, I'm going to go through the day building up with um, what I'm eating, what I'm drinking, so you can see and uh, hopefully get a bit of an insight. So enjoy. Here we go then, the first meal of the day, which is going to be this porridge, 128 grams. This is Quaker Jumbo Oats. Glucose wise, we are at 4.8, um, just gone up uh, plus one. Um, so that's fine. I've taken eight units of Nova Rapid for this. This is 76 grams carbs. So I'm working on a kind of one to 10 ratio, which I know is a bit too much, but the thinking behind that is in a couple of hours time, I'll start dropping and then I will have a snack or two sort of mid morning. So I'm gonna put some semi skim milk in this um, microwave it and then eat it. Um, there's also some chia seeds um, and some flax seeds, just a few on the top there, which is what I tend to put on um, every morning for no reason really, other than it's meant to be good for you. Um, so yeah, 128 grams Quaker uh, Jumbo Oats, 76 grams carbs, so I'm going to take eight units. That's a little, a tiny bit too much insulin, but it will allow me to have a little snack in a couple of hours time and then I will come back to you then and give you uh, an update on the glucose and uh, what I'm eating then. Right, we're back. It's 11.25 a.m. Um, you can see this morning the porridge eight units. I should have said the eight units. I did take 20 minutes beforehand. I do find that works best in the morning. Usually I run in the morning, but obviously I'm not today because I'm running tonight. So I took eight, the eight units about 20 minutes before I ate the porridge um, and I rose up to I think it was about 8.6. You can see the rise on the graph there. Uh, then started dropping. I've started rising again now. I'm not really quite sure why. I've not eaten anything. Um, not had anything else since that porridge. But anyway, we're at 7.4, which is fine. Um, uh, the my three hours is up with the Nova Rapid, so we are going to take uh, two units now and we're going to have a Special K Biscuit Moment Strawberry Bar and a Kind uh, Caramel Almond and Sea Salt. Now that Kind Bar is 7 grams carbs, the Biscuit Moments is 15. Um, just a couple of snacks I like, I do tend to have them most mornings. Um, so we're going to take two units for their 20 two or 23 grams of carbs which again may be very slightly too much um but if it is i'll work it out we're on a, a slight rise here but we may have a little bit of nova rapid still working from this morning um so yeah that's where we are at 11 26. all right we are back it's lunch time we're at 4.6 rise come down after those um bars I had a, a couple of hours ago um, and maybe just rising back up slightly but for lunch I'm having a chicken and prawn paella uh, which is here now this is for two people um, I'm having it all because I like it and I like eating um, this is what I usually have on the night before races obviously this race is um, an evening race so I'm having it for lunch um, it's 140 grams carbs I'm going to take a split dose so I'm going to take 14 units but I'm going to take seven just before I eat it and then another seven about 40 minutes after and that will cover a couple of little desserts i'm going to have which i will speak about shortly um so there's the paella um, and then i'm also going to be chucking in some kale and some spinach um, and also some uh other veg which i'm sure i've got to manage to uh here so that's all going to go in but i'll chuck that in uh near the end when it's finished so yeah we're at 4.6 
You can have a 140 gram carb lunch, which is a meal which has always done me well the night before races. I'll have it for lunch today. Um, and we're gonna take 14 units with seven of those being taken just before I eat it. And then another seven of Nova Rapid about 40 minutes after I've eaten it. And that should hopefully keep me uh, nice and in a flat line. Right, so I just want to make a very quick point on that meal. Um, Obviously, I said it's 140 grams carbs, and I said I was going to take a split dose, and people might wonder why I was doing that for um, a meal which is not high fat. Obviously, that's a very low fat meal. I think it's about 12 grams for that big portion. Um, but I've always just found that if I'm taking any dose over 10 units, then I'm going to go hypo, regardless of what I'm eating. It could be the most carby thing in the world, um, but I, I'll never do a single injection of 10 units, probably eight is maybe my max maybe nine um, but whenever i've done 10 or anything above that in the past um, always go higher post so i tend to find splitting big doses works better um, i think just because sort of the peak of the insulin of when it's at its highest powers in terms of reducing glucose levels any dose over 10 units is just a guaranteed higher post so i tend to split big doses even if it's a low fat food So following on from that main course um, of the paella, I'm going to have a little dessert now, which is pretty much what I have every single day for lunch, which is going to involve one big orange, two kiwis, a uh, Nature Valley crunchy. Today we've got the oats and honey. I do quite like the dark chocolate one, but today oats and honey has been pulled out of the box and a special K bar. I will take six units for all this. Um, I will take it in one hit. I do find these bars are quite slow digester, so I will have to, I'll take the insulin and then I will eat the bars as soon as. If you leave it the 10, 15, 20 half hour, then I always find I'd spike three and a half, four hours later. So yeah, this is the dessert from the um, paella. I'm at 5.1 at the moment. Obviously the paella is not really kicked in yet. That was only sort of 35 minutes or so ago. Um, but yeah, here's my dessert. No carbs or anything here, but just with my afternoon water, we're having a hydro tablet. Again, I don't really know how much these benefit you, but I want to be nice and hydrated going into tonight. So I will have one of these, um, like I said, no carbs in it. So um, basically just drink it like I normally would water. Right, it's now 10 past three, and my first race tonight is at 6.30, so we're getting close to the kind of cut-off period for Nova Rapid to be um, pretty much finished and worked in my body. Um, they say it's three hours. I think we all know it's a little longer than that. Um, I've been dropping quite a bit since that meal. Um, I've taken 20 units of insulin over that lunch period, over about a period of about an hour and 15 um so that's mo that is still working that was kind of two two and a half hours ago now so still got bits of that to work what i'm proposing what i'm going to do is now have an sis energy bar um now i've only had one of these before and when i took one i ran well so um, it's worked i'm going to stick with it this is 30 grams carbs it's made of oats dried fruit um and rhubarb juice um and I'm not going to take any insulin for it now, which is a bit of a risk because 30 grams without any insulin is quite a lot. But I'm dropping quite hard now um, and I've been gradually dropping for the last hour or so. So I think it's the right time. We'll see how we get on. I'm not planning to take any more insulin um, at this period until just before the race, which I will explain later. But this is one of these moments where this could be a mistake, but um, we live and learn. So we'll see how that goes. So we are just setting off now, 4.30, 5.4 millimoles. Um, so the afternoon's been ideal, really. This is a perfect set for good glucose. Been pretty much in range all day. That energy bar 
that I had about an hour and 20, an hour and 30 ago now. He's probably still working a little bit, so he may rise. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. So it's 15 minutes before we start the race. Unfortunately, um, we've risen a bit. That bar at three o'clock probably wasn't the best idea with no insulin. Um, as you can see, it started coming up about an hour, an hour and a half ago. I did take one unit at 5.30 of Nova Rapid um, to try and stop that spike a bit. But um, obviously I'm set 9.7, which is a little higher than what I, where I wanted. What I'm going to do now is take three units of Nova Rapid um, and a caffeine gel. Um, reason for this is after speaking to Paul Coker, I'm sure a lot of people know as someone who is very um, knowledgeable when it comes to type 1 and exercise, um, the endorphins and the cortisone and the adrenaline that my body's going to pump out very soon are going to send my sugars sky high. I've had this problem a lot doing sessions, especially on Saturday mornings when I've also got that uh, morning glucose dump from the liver. Um, and hopefully by taking this, um, it's going to stop that spike. So it's a bit of a gamble taking four units um, or three units and one working in me before I um, do a hard run. But um, I, I tried it out on Saturday during an interval session and it worked pretty well. It stopped the spike. So we're going to go again for it. Um, well, we've just ticked over to a slight drop there of point one look. Um, so yeah, going to take three units now, a caffeine gel, and then it's go time in 15 minutes. Right, so I am back. This is uh, recorded the day after the race. Um, the actual running did not go particularly well for me for a few reasons. Um, I didn't run the time I wanted and I was a little bit frustrated, but this video is not really about running. It's about um, glucose and insulin and diabetes management, all those fun topics that everybody loves. Um, so I'm not going to talk really about the running, but in terms of my levels during the run, um, I pretty much stayed at around nine millimoles, um, which is probably okay. Um, I like to be in the green zone, but I know that that's not always possible because it's it's just too dangerous to start in the green zone and then you always risk that hyper. I did um, take the three units, uh, as I mentioned previously, I took a caffeine gel, which there probably wasn't a great deal of point in because it was such a short distance. I wasn't able to do the 10k race afterwards that I was scheduled to do because I was too late. Um, the whole, like I said, the whole evening was a bit of a disaster for me. Um, but the glucose was okay. I stayed around the nine, so I did avoid that spike, the spike that would usually happen running hard and um, anaerobically. Um, the adrenaline and cortisol would spike the blood sugars, but that didn't happen because I, I took those three units of Nova Rapid or 15 minutes uh, before I started. So that was one positive. That seems to be working well for me and it's definitely something that I'll continue. I will put a graph on the screen now of my uh, Libra for the day. So this is kind of the 24 hour period. It wasn't too bad. Um, you can see after the race, I went a bit out of control in terms of levels. I was um, above the green zone um, because I'd kind of really relaxed a bit. I had some chocolate bars and um, a can of Tango Cherry, actually, uh, which was very nice. Um, and afterwards, I was a bit more chilled out about it all. And I wasn't as concerned about keeping it in such a tight range. But hopefully um, this video has given people a good understanding of what I do and my thought processes behind my eating and what insulin I'm taking and all that kind of stuff. As we know, or hopefully many people watching this video know, only half a percent of diabetes is about injecting insulin. It's a mental battle. It's a mental game. You've got to really have a thought process of thinking, what am I eating? How much shall I inject? What different, or what is this going to cause to the body, this injection or this food? How's it all going to play out? They say that Type 1s make 180 extra decisions a day compared to a normal person. And that's probably fair because I'm always thinking about what am I injecting? What am I eating? How is this food or this amount of insulin going to affect what I'm doing or what's in my body? Am I going to go high? Am I going low? This, we're constantly thinking. Um, think, think, think. So, um, yeah, I won't go on much more. But hopefully this video has given people a bit of a uh, an understanding and um, a bit of a sort of getting in my mind I guess of how I'm thinking and what I'm doing with my insulin and my food and um, yeah any comments will be much appreciated I'll answer all the comments I can't imagine I'm going to get too many so any comments I will always uh, come back to if anyone's any questions and uh, yeah thank you